In this presentation, we will showcase the video communication tool, Zoom. Zoom is an enterprise video communications tool with an easy, reliable cloud platform for video and audio conferencing, collaboration, chat, and webinars across mobile devices, desktops, telephones, and room systems. In this video, we will begin by creating an account and logging into Zoom. Next, we will show how to set up a Zoom meeting. And finally, we will explore some of the tools available to us when using Zoom for communication purposes. Getting started. To create a Zoom account, go to www.zoom.us. From here, click the Sign Up It's Free button. You need a valid email address to register. For the purpose of this video, I am using a previously created account. This account is a free Zoom account. Free accounts have a 40 minute time limit on meetings with three or more participants. Paid for versions include additional functionality. Details about paid for versions are available on the Zoom website. Once you have registered, you will be brought to this landing page where you can schedule and create a Zoom meeting. To do this, click Schedule a Meeting, located in the top right of your browser. You will be brought to the Schedule a Meeting page. Here, you can include the details of your meeting. Details can include the topic, the description, the time, and the duration. The meeting password, require meeting password, is enabled as default. So is the enable waiting room function. It is recommended that these settings are enabled, but the host can enable or disable them as they see fit. When you have finished inputting the details of your meeting, simply click Save. From here, you are brought into the next step of your meeting and you are presented with a number of options. First, you can add your scheduled Zoom meeting to your calendar, be it a Google Calendar, an Outlook Calendar or a Yahoo Calendar. In order to share the details of this Zoom meeting with participants, click the Copy the Invitation link. The details of your Zoom meeting are outlined in the box. You may share this detail through a messaging service or on multiple platforms. For example, you may use Google Classroom on G Suite, Microsoft Teams on Office 365, or Aladdin Connect. Participants will need to download the Zoom app on their own devices in order to access scheduled meetings. Now we will move to a sample Zoom meeting and explore some of the tools available to us. When you enter a Zoom meeting, you will be presented with a screen such as this. In the bottom left hand corner, you have the option to mute and unmute your microphone. You also have the option to enable and disable the video. In this video, my video will remain disabled. Moving from left to right across the bottom of your screen, you have a number of options available to you during your Zoom meeting. The first is security. Here, you can enable and disable the waiting room. You can also enable and disable a number of functions available to participants, including the share screen option, the chat option, and the ability to rename their screen. Moving to participants, this is where you will see a list of your attendees. From this position, you can invite further attendees, either those on your contact list or via email. From here, you can also mute and unmute all participants 
and the More tab provides additional functionality. Moving to the Chat feature. Here you have the ability to have an internal conversation with all attendees, or you may wish to send a private message to an individual. The three dots on the right hand side also offer more functions that the host can um, restrict or enable and disable uh, depending on their own needs. Moving to the screen share. The screen share allows you to share your own screen with participants. The whiteboard facility may be very useful when explaining or describing concepts and processes. The record facility allows hosts to record Zoom meetings in order to share at a later date. And the reactions tab allows participants to interact and engage with content during the Zoom meeting. To end a Zoom meeting, click the end meeting located in the bottom right hand corner. This is where you can either choose to leave the meeting or end the meeting for all.